She criticised Tony Blair and Harriet Harman for sending children to selective schools. Then she sent her own son to a fee-paying school. The double standard led to a bust-up on her own TV programme. In justifying your decision, which we've talked about before, I don't want to dwell on that, uh, to send your son to a private school, you said, quote, West Indian mums will go to the wall for their children, so black mothers love their kids more than white. And true. We've just had, I think, one of the most important budgets in a generation. I've said everything I'm going to say about where I sent my son to school. No, no, I'm not talking, no, that's no, what no, I want to. No, I don't no, understand no. this quote. No. Supposing Michael had said, White mums will go to the wall for their children. Andrew, I've got nothing I actually run a world programme, have done for many years, for London's Top Achieving Black Children. And actually, Andrew, there's lots of black boys out there <laughs> to working hard and doing extremely that, well. Clearly, not, not enough of them for you to send your Andrew, kid to the is, local school. This is going I mean, you didn't want them to go to a school full of kids that had been brought up by West Indian mums. No, actually... We discover you now claimed £1,100 on taxes including an individual claim for £192. Well, you know, it is late at night and it is only two or three cabs. And, uh, but I go home in reference to Stephen myself. Lawrence's murder trial. I do wish everyone would stop saying the black community, though. Which one? Abbott replied, I understand the cultural point you're making, but you're playing into a divide and rule agenda. Later adding, white people love playing divide and rule. We should not play their game. There was a saying uh, white people love to divide and rule is, is, is a pretty controversial remark if people don't see it in context. Do you accept that? It was not a wise thing to, to put out there. I think the tweet was taken out of context and some people have been trusted with it. It was what you actually meant by well, the comment. Sorry. Sure. Yeah. Well, who was on the phone? That's been in Sophie Ridge, our political correspondent. Sophie, who was calling her at that uh, most opportune of moments? Well, I've been told that the person on the other end of the line was actually Ed Miliband, uh, who was phoning Diane Abbott to give her uh, what a source close to the Labour leader says was a severe dressing down. Uh, I'm told that he phoned her up personally and he made it clear that she had to apologise unreservedly to him, to the party and also to anybody uh, that who she may have offended by it. Now so why did Ed Miliband fire you? Good afternoon. He talked about message discipline.